Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Today we have a very special project. I've got this super old Masterpieces of Piano Music book and it has like all of the classics, cheap music in here to learn piano. And my father learned how to play piano from this book. And I think his mom also learned from this book. It's from Japan and it might, it might say something about, something about it right there in Japanese, but I can't read it. So yeah, it's super old and it's totally falling apart. This whole signature is coming out and it's like the cover is all ripped apart and it's just in bad shape. So we are going to restore this book. And I also have my father's piano from his childhood from Japan. So, and it's in great shape. It's like in tune. We're gonna learn how to play piano from this, from the same stuff that my dad used. It's good. This is like all taped together. I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to maintain this cover or if I'm going to recover it and then like cut out just this pian piano music part and then use that as like a little window or something with a new hardback cover. Like the look of it and the feel and like it's still old. I think I'll just rebind the text block and then put the same cover back on. First step is we're going to take this completely apart very carefully and I'm going to, because these signatures are completely falling apart, this is meant to be stitched. I don't want to glue the whole text box together, text box, text block together, but I am going to repair each signature. So the plan is, let me back up a little bit, like this signature in particular is coming apart. This one's really bad. Like this one, the leaflets are split down the middle and so I can't just like stitch it back together. I have to glue the signature back together. Like here's one leaflet, it's one page that's folded in the middle, but then this page is split off and the edges are all jacked up. So we'll have to do something about that. And so this is just a loose sheet. You can't stitch that back in. So I have to glue this all back together into one piece and then stitch that back into the block. So we're gonna completely disassemble the text block and reinforce each of these signature spines. And then we'll stitch it all back together. So that's step one of 20. So I've got it all apart, and this is one of the first signatures in the book. Like the, here's the, the preface and the index and all that. And this, on most of the signatures, this first leaflet is in the worst shape. It's coming apart the most. So just on this leaflet, I'm going to take a piece, just a strip of Japanese decorative paper. It's pretty thin, but it's not as thin as it could be, but it's what I have. Strip that down and we're going to glue it right there and make a new spine for that page. And then that'll give it a reinforcement for all the stitching too. Because these other ones, these other pages in here, they're in pretty good shape. There's not a, oh, and now there's a tear. There's not a lot of rips. They're, I mean, they're fragile, but they're still in decent shape where I'm not going to add a piece of paper to this because even if I, even doing this to every signature, there's 18 signatures and then this gets folded over on itself like that when I sew it together. So that's 36 layers of this paper and that makes the book this much thicker than it used to be just doing that. And I have to add more paper and more tape and more repair elements that are gonna add to that thickness. So I have to be really careful because it's gonna be all of a sudden super thick. I can't just go adding strips of paper everywhere. Um, which means that this old cover is not going to fit because the spine is physically gonna be too small. So I have to figure that out. We'll have to do something with that later. So in the meantime, we're going to 
glue this together and we're gonna use this pH neutral PVA glue ideal for book binding and paper projects exactly what you want to use any kind of PVA glue that you have there's obviously different levels of quality that you can get uh, my wife bought me this like two years ago for Christmas and I still have a little bit left if you don't have this Mod Podge is PVA glue with water in it it's watered down so it's thinner it's runnier than this stuff is the other tricky thing is I have to figure out what to do about this fly sheet because it wasn't originally part of a signature it was part of the fly sheet set so it's physically shorter than the other pages so I think I'm going to glue this to the first signature and then this paper or another piece of decorative paper that I have will become the new fly sheets for the book and then this will just kind of be like an extra page as the title sheet I've been working on these other ones so after you get it glued up all you have to do is shove it between two sticks of something that you have that are flat this is three quarter inch birch plywood that I had in the garage and put some weight on it I've got some cling wrap between where I have the glue just so it doesn't bleed out and stick to something I don't want it to stick to and that comes right off after the glue is dried so this is a newly repaired outside signature page this page is severely damaged this parts completely missing the edges are coming apart they're extremely fragile uh, I need to put a little tape there to secure that rip and the pages were completely split apart these other ones they were not so bad where I'm just kind of reinforcing it a little bit this one was really bad too Let's see, like this one this one was not so bad right it had a little bit of degradation but it was mostly intact and that was no big deal but I added it just to have the security for that signature and also the continuity if you want to call it that but these two signatures oh my goodness they are completely destroyed they've been taped and taped and repaired and these edges are absolutely look at this edge oh my goodness like I thought about photographing this page that way I would have the color of this and then color printing the scan of this whole thing and reprinting it on white paper and then stitching it together but then th the weight of the paper would be different and it would just would not feel right so I opted for just leaving this alone and letting it be old but in general the rest of the book is in decent shape we had a few things to worry about but we glued this strip in put it under pressure let it dry and now we're ready to start stitching this thing back together One movie magic moment later, we've got the entire text block and all the signatures fully repaired. Actually, hold that thought for one minute. Just, just one second. Here's this one. This is the, this is the cover page. So that's important. So one movie magic moment later, we've got all the signatures glued up, repaired, stitched up and fixed up ready to get sewn back into a text block. So a text block consists of a couple different parts. So first you start with a page. There's four pages on one leaflet. There are eight leaflets. In this case, you can have more or less or whatever. In this case, there's eight leaflets in a signature that goes together. And then 16 signatures come together to form a text block. So that's just like all the pages stuck together. So all that put together gives you roughly 536 pages of information. This is definitely the largest book that I've ever sewn. I've made lots of books and journals and different things and like art projects, but this is definitely the largest. It's gonna be quite an endeavor, and I have none of the equipment to do it properly. <laughs> so, like there's, there's wonderful tutorials and videos on YouTube 
of other creators making these gorgeous leather bound books and they have all this old world old school all these clamps and holders and different presses and things and it's really beautiful i have none of those things i have a few clamps and a bottle of glue we're just going to make it work so the next thing to do we're going to line up our sewing stations stitch this together and then we have to worry about the cover which i'm still like i don't i don't know what to do about that um also i only have three days left until this video comes out so i'm hustling and just like getting it done and i'm all bundled up with my new jacket because it's freaking cold in my office it's like the coldest house coldest house in the room it's the coldest room in my house and it freaking sucks and it's freezing outside and they're like oh just turn up the temperature no i'm a cheapskate i'm not turning up the thermostat i'm just gonna suffer in silence well not in silence because i'm complaining to you we'll do that we'll deal with that later okay for now back to the sewing stations we're gonna stitch this up that's super boring you don't need to watch it i'm just gonna do it and then i'm gonna say look it's done that's my style after it's all stitched up we're gonna take it to staples they have a big machine that'll just cut that whole thing in one go and it'll even up all these pages and all these pages it's all jacked up it'll go chop and it'll make that super flat and flat for like 10 bucks i think it's like three dollars a per cut that they do and they'll square it all up and make it pretty so that's the game plan this thing smells really old let's get going after a couple very late nights the text block is done and it's all stitched together I had a couple very late nights like i said and did i say that because i've had very late nights and i yeah my brain's fried i don't remember what this type of stitch is called but i like this stitching because it opens up really flat like you can open the book all the way totally flat and that's really great for playing music right now all we have to do is glue this piece of paper on and another piece of paper. This will be the fly sheet, so we'll glue this to the spine like that. And then that'll be the fly sheet for the cover. And then I guess you don't really have, yeah, you have a fly sheet in the back. Yeah. You don't have to have one in the back, but. And then we'll glue this on. This is like a really cool gold glittery pattern it's kind of shiny cut that to size and glue that on the same way so it glues glue and that'll be the paste down so that piece of paper will attach the book to the cover when we glue it just a bunch of gluing and then we're done so as predicted the text block does not fit in the old cover because i just added bit too much material to it so it fits this way right it fits here and it fits there but then as you wrap it around it ends up being short here because the spine is not long enough to go all the way around so this old cover is basically trash the so, oh I could reuse it if I like made a new spine I could cut this out and then glue slash stitch a larger piece of material here. That'd actually be really easy. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cause I can just, I have a sewing machine that'll punch through this. So that's what we're gonna do. Where's my scissors? Okay, so we have front cover, back cover. All we have to do is cut out a strip of this suede, stitch it on as a new spine piece, and then we're good to go, and then we'll glue it on. That wasn't too bad. I was gonna show you how I did this hem, but then I got excited and just did all of it really quick. Cause I suck at sewing, so it, I get excited when it goes well. I laid the leather upside down, right along the edge, even with the cardboard that's right there stitched that upside down and then folded it back on itself over that stitch covered it up and then stitched it again so now we've got this nice suede leather spine now we just got to glue it to the book slap a bunch of glue on here 
and throw it in this thing like that. Look how nice that looks. Um, I'm gonna glue one cover at a time, just, you know, to avoid problems and mistakes. And my kids are playing with a squeaky toy for some reason. So we'll glue this up with our pH neutral glue. Um, if you try and use Mod Podge, Mod, Mod Podge for this step, the excess moisture, the excess water in Mod Podge, more often than not, will make the paper warp really funny. So probably don't use Mod Podge for this step. But if that's all you got, then just go for it and see what happens. Okay, most important thing is that you glue it the right way up. So make sure that the book is facing the right way. And this is the front cover, and that's the front of the book. So we're gonna glue it on like that. Here we go. I didn't use a lot of fancy tools on this project. It just had like a bottle of glue, some needle and thread, and some pieces of wood with a weight on it. Um, you don't need a whole lot of fancy equipment to make things happen, you just have to get creative. So get out there and make it happen. Okay, that does the back cover. We're gonna put this under the press and let that set up and then we'll do the same to the front cover. Well, it's a lot of hard work and right onto the wire because it's New Year's Eve and this video is supposed to come out in like 10 hours. But it's completely done! as a nice new suede leather spine and very nice. It opens nice and flat and it's all been restored. The masterpieces of piano music. Brand new, beautiful paste down that's not quite dry yet. New fly sheet, and then it still has its original cover page and all its table of contents. And here is Weber's Last Thought, my father's favorite song to play on the piano. And I'm gonna learn it. It's gonna take years and years and years because I suck at piano. Don't know how to play. But we're gonna learn this song. And that's how you restore a book. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Hit subscribe, I come out with a new video on the first of every month. If you have any ideas of projects you'd like me to build or show you how to make, art projects, drawing, painting, sculpting, woodworking, I do it all, I'll let you know what I think. Just comment below what you want me to do. Ciao for now.